Okay, so today we're going to be upgrading a hard drive and a desktop to a new Samsung SSD, 500 gigabyte SSD using the Apricorn Notebook Drive Upgrade Kit. So just a few things real quick before we get started. Um, you know, the CD that comes with it will only work, the Apricorn software will only work on a PC. We're going to be going, um, you know, this is Windows 7 PC. It's got a 4th gen i5 processor into it, so it's a good PC, but it's slowing down just a little bit. It has a standard hard drive in it, not an SSD, so you're going to be upgrading to an SSD. So what you're going to want to do is get your computer up and running, and we're going to go ahead and pop this uh, CD in that came with it. I'm going to run that. So one of the things I really like about this is that it, um, it works really well pretty quick if you have a USB 3 port on your PC because it only transfers the data from the hard drive so let's say this is a 500 gigabyte hard drive and uh, the one that's in the PC is a 500 gigabyte hard drive it'll only transfer whatever data is used on that hard drive so if there's a hundred gigabytes used on the hard drive then that's all it's going to use so that's pretty cool it doesn't copy all 500 gigabytes so we're just going to run Easy Gig Software from the CD. I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the PC now into the back. Before I go into actually starting the software, I like to do a quick format of the drive. So you probably have to click on your start menu, go to computer, right click on it, and then go to manage. Okay, when that comes up, we'll go to Disk Management. Okay, so here it is. We have to initialize this one. I'm going to do that. This one here is our current hard drive, and Disk 1 is going to be our new Samsung drive. So we're going to right click it in New Simple Volume. Next, leave the size its original size. Next, format NTFS, we can call it, we can rename it to SSD, and we're going to make sure that perform a quick format is checked, and finish and let it do its thing. It says it's formatting right here. Okay. So now, the autoplay pops up and shows our new drive. So now we can actually start the Easy Gig software. Just click accept. Let's get started. So what it's doing is scanning for the USB device that we have plugged in. So if the source drive is going to be the built-in hard drive that's already currently in it. Uh, you'll know the difference because, you know, this will say IDE and the USB device will say USB SATA wire. So we're going to click on this as the source drive. Click next. The destination drive will be our USB. So this part takes a second. I've already clicked on next. You just have to wait and give it a second. Okay, so I just will go ahead and click next. And basically this is saying, you know, source is the first hard drive, it's 500 gigs. We're gonna clone it over to the destination, the SATA wire. So we're gonna go ahead and start the clone. Start copying. And this is gonna walk through its thing. We'll check back as soon as it finishes up. So once this starts, it comes up with this screen that will show you where it's at. Um, this part, if there are any errors on the hard drive, they'll come up here. Um, I found that this device does not work very well if the hard drive is failing. In this case, the hard drive is not failing, so it should copy fine. It's just 
aging and getting a little bit slower than it should. So um, I don't see any problems on this one. Um, over here it gives you the elapsed time so far. It's only been 30 seconds. The remaining time it says it's going to take about an hour and 50 minutes. So we'll let it do its thing. Okay, so when it completes the copy, it pop, autoplay will pop up and recognize a new disc. You just close out of that. Um, it'll say, congratulations, your clone was completed successfully. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and quit Easy Gig. And we'll shut down the PC. And then we will open it up and put the new drive in. Okay, so you're going to want to unplug everything from your computer. We have the new SSD that's been cloned. We'll unplug that, put it aside for now. We're going to open up the case. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and unplug the SATA cables from the hard drive. Pull this out. Here's our old hard drive. It's a three and a half inch, so it's larger. I'm going to unscrew that. Okay, new hard drive is in, SATA cables are plugged in, go ahead and close it up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and plug everything back in and boot it up. Okay, so we have the new drive in, let's go ahead and boot this up power. Okay, so that's it on this one. This one's a business computer that's joined to a domain, so um, boot up times, it's looking for the domain controller and I'm not on site where the domain is, so it's a little bit slower than yours might be, but overall it's good to go.